Potter's Journal. It is winter 2017, and uh, my production does uh, follow the year's cycles. The year's cycles including, um, okay, Steelers playoff games, chip and dip plates. Um, the only problem is I thought it would be great to have a prop, but um, uh -oh, they just didn't make it to the video. So we're just going to take a look at the plates today. I have two kilns to unload today, um, but I will say that yeah, one's already been loaded is on top. Um, I've got uh, my old Celadon glaze here. I'm really happy with the way these plates came out. I like this glaze. And um, dumping uh, my sea mist, a bucket of sea mist on top of my Celadon. It changed it slightly, but it's still there. It's still okay. It um, makes it a little less clear, and I think uh, you know gives it some more depth. So, um, what could have been a mistake um, is actually working out quite well. The sea mist that I put on these um, probably not evident in the photos, but I did it very thick here, and almost too thick. The um, wavy line almost doesn't show in there so um, in one kiln load I then thinned it down as a test um, before I glaze this next piece and it shows up a bit better and I probably need to get a hydrometer so that since I use these at a precise thickness I know what I'm doing and what I've got and then I thinned it down even more and this one has some more um, lines carved in it, grooves, so um, it really shows off uh, the glaze and the pot um, and is used uh, the way yeah, um, I, I feel I can get the best out of it. And this is just one glaze, standard ceramics uh, sea mist. And the idea was uh, to just use one glaze and get the most out of it that you could. Um, so that is one kiln load. Let's um, see what we've got in the kiln today. I will say that, uh, yeah, the chip people really saw, really saw Pittsburgh and probably every, oh, um, city coming. I've got, oh, okay, here's the lid for that jar I just pulled out of here that um, I forgot to put in the last time. And I, oh, I don't believe it. I thought this was a plate of mine. I did some of, um the cobalt blue stuff last summer for the historic village and I thought this was another one of mine but it's another one of my apprentices piece so we'll have to get her back um, this winter and this is where she did all the work by hand with all that yeah, design stuff uh, before I think we started doing the doily thing and I got my shelves scraped off from last year okay here it is oh wow I, I like this. This mistake did turn out to be a success. This is the um, uh, the what I was calling Celadon with the sea mist. The mistake of pouring one bucket of glaze on top of another, and um, I, I think it uh, yeah makes it a, a little more richer. And you know what? This is the one where I didn't like the drips either. By maybe by making it a little less clear, um, you know, slightly. Uh, uh, pacified, if that's uh, not a word, we'll use it. Um, it makes uh, the drips, because I can see them in here, a little more acceptable than um, the glaze yeah, I was using before. So, okay, another mistake. It's a success. Um, you know, the, this might, I do need to get a bigger kiln for stuff like this. Okay, wow. Okay, yeah, I did the... Uh, this is the glaze I like. So I, gla I did the other ones first, thinking that they'd be the better sellers. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this worked out quite well. 
So uh, we'll have to get some chips and see if they can make it to a photo shoot because I would like to photograph the pots um, being used the way, uh, yeah, in a, in a cookbook. They take uh, photos of the food beautifully prepared and display it in beautiful um, dishes. I'd like to do the same thing to show off the dish. Okay, wow. Okay, looks like I did three with the celadon. And, um, yeah, all of them, yeah, drips, um, so are not uh, the problem they used to be. The chip people, yeah, I think saw us coming in probably every city by uh, putting the local sports team on the bag. I wish there was something I could do with pottery. Um, some crowd I could see coming and get the pieces made for before they show up. Okay, and in the bunt pan, I did the, you know, carve in cut groovy thing, and it does pull in there, but um, it doesn't show off. I think I like it better with the slip, um, and the carvy thing better with the cell or the uh, sea mist. I, I do like using just one glaze and trying to get. Um, as much out of it as I can. A lot of varied interest because, um, hmm, because um, it makes it easier. And since I have trouble getting um, where I'm located and a uh, huge price out of pieces, I try to make it as easy as possible. I don't put trimmed feet on the bottom of things. Um, sometimes I could do better than I did here. Don't, that's not so bad. But by um, just using one glaze, and uh, getting the most out of it I can. Um, you know, all the lines to catch catch the pool glaze and using it a little thinner so it'll break. Uh, get the most interest out of just using a single glaze. However, I may am putting together an order, so I may be testing out some pieces. There's still a few of these guys around too, it looks like. Um, I made sure that I started this winter with... Oh, here's one that... I put in a kiln load and forgot to glaze. Um, so it didn't same glaze and because it was high already fired to stoneware it just wouldn't soak up the glaze. Okay, yeah, so some of these guys still around. Yeah, I made sure I started this winter with uh, pieces to fire so that I could get some residual heat in here from the kiln. And I'll be, yeah, exploring the face pieces again on my jug series. The 101 jugs, it'll all be different. Okay, so, looks like a good start to this year. Okay, a good start to this year by, uh, yeah, finishing up firing the pieces from last year. So that kiln was um, kind of started last year to figure out um, if that glaze mistake was going to work out and a few new pieces, but it is time to get some, uh, see what else is going on in the studio today um, and dig out the um, rest of the glazes that have been put away under the bench. I um, Now that I've got a few combinations that are working, half a dozen glazes, I could just say, okay, that's it. I'm happy now. But um, Standard Ceramics is only half hour from me. It's on the way to Pittsburgh. I've been, um, you know, studying their glaze chart. And I think last year I probably watched too much Janice the Potter. I put a list of a dozen glazes to try. But I think sensibly I narrowed it down to about three that... I think complement each other and may work with the ones I have now. I like to mix up about um, 10 pounds of glaze, comes up to about here. That's enough to dip most pieces in if it's on a, you know, on top of a batch of the same, brings it up to about here, so um, that's, you know, substantial amount to dip pots in. But um, testing the new glazes, I think you know, 5 pounds. Um, you know, is enough to do some some small tests on pieces like mugs. That's kind of what I had in, um, in mind with these. So, I will say, stop back and subscribe and see how that new adventure turns out. Um, 
And then when you get a little bit left, or if you don't like it, um, that uh, now that it was an accident, that glaze blending, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try some more of that too, maybe. If you do use the stuff, you know, in the jars when you get small amounts, that's uh, the glaze blending can try, uh, tr be tried out there too. Um, my own glazes, I was fortunate that um, my studio was abandoned for many years. I did find the recipe box, so. Um, if the ingredients are still available and haven't changed too much, they can still be mixed up. Um, I also found, um, yeah, a couple glazes in another potter, I guess uh, abandoned here. Um, a Schwartz ball, I don't know, had a, so we're going to see how this works out too. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to take one more look at what came out of the kiln. And I guess my real interest is more the chips than the um, the football game, so um, I will have to check out. I can see that we are in the playoffs this year. I just take it for granted that we are. Um, one year, I uh, found out at uh, my Super Bowl party, the day Saturday before the Super Bowl, that uh, the Steelers weren't even in it. Okay, so stop back. And maybe we'll uh, fill these up with some chips. Yeah, all right, now that the camera's off, here's the real reason why I did this. Mm, a legal excuse to eat potato chips. I wonder if the Steelers are even in the playoffs this year.